Hey, so you know what's the opposite of down church? Oh, what? Up church, as in Sandy Up Church. That's right, Signature Studio Spotlight Series. This is the Ball Guy in the Red Tie with Susan Ebert, and we have Sandy Up Church in the studio today underneath the bright white lights of the spotlight. That was Yay! quite an intro. That was. That was <laughs> That's your intro. You never know what's coming. It's really I know, exciting. Did you just come up with that? Like, yes. Uh-huh. It's Pretty totally good. spontaneous. I never know what I'm going to say, so I'm just as excited to hear as you guys are. So, that's how it works. That's good. I like that. Well, Sandy, welcome to the studio. You have been uh, a trailblazer here, and you've been having a good career, and uh, you are under the spotlight, so you're doing something right. I'm, I'm, I'm like Dr. Seuss today. I'm feeling I good. know. <laughs> I just just want to hear myself talk, Um, but we're here to hear you talk because you walk the walk. So I promise. Um, Welcome to the show. And let's talk about how you got into real estate. Okay. How did you get in real estate? So um, me and my husband, we bought a house. I think our first house was about eight years ago. And Jill Pittman was our real estate agent. And it's so funny knowing Jill now, and she's like mega agent, right? She sells tons. She does big time she's deals. She's a mover and shaker. Our first house was 175000 and she pulled up in her super cute <laughs> luxury SUV, just looked so put together, so beautiful. And I'm like, I want to be her. I loved everything she did. Aww. And looking back now, like the, the fact that she spent, because we were in the frenzy 10 years ago trying to buy a house, you know, 20 offers on everything. She spent so much time writing so many offers for us. We bid on everything. We didn't care. And it makes me laugh knowing what her check was from that deal. And she treated us like we were her million dollar Deleuze clients that she normally has. So I love, love, love her. And she definitely inspired me to get into real estate. That is a mark of a good agent because you want the clients on that both ends of the spectrum to Mm -hmm. feel like they're the only client in the world. So that's fantastic. She would bring snacks for Gavin when we would go out looking because he was little. He was what maybe two and um she would bring him little goldfish snacks and water bottles and i do that now for my clients which is just so funny how things oh. go full circle yeah well it's nice that it's the opposite story too because most of the time people will have a bad experience and right like i can do that much better <laughs> no, I you think always like, into that. it was so easy yeah. i i was like i could do that no it, she was in it where we are now showing us so yeah. many homes and the heartbreak and you know she was fantastic i love her that's awesome yeah so what were you doing before real estate i worked at a gym um canyon fitness center in canyon lake i worked Mm -hmm. there for 10 years and that i i really think taught me so much about people and sales and contracts and the importance of contracts and that's where it started was doing gym sales yeah so would you say a lot of those gifts and talents and just that experience of working at the gym kind of translated over into the real estate career and kind of made oh, it yeah. kind of... So cr- my boss, uh, Dave Garcia, he still owns it. He would give me like the sales Bible, right, of how to sell gym memberships. And it sounds silly, but it's all a script, right? Everything's, yeah. you know, you, you obviously put your own twist on it, but that he taught me sales and I didn't even know what I was doing was sales right I was like you should join this gym it's awesome I love it here and it the same thing totally came over to the real estate side how to talk to people how to go through those contracts because they're very important and you know it's just on a much larger scale right gym memberships 25 bucks a month houses are a lot more than that (laughs) <laughs> just yeah, a little. Just a little bit. Yeah, a lot more. Way Thank more. Thank God she's got the math down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a big number. So, yeah. It's, yeah, a lot. Give me a calculator. Hey, Siri. Um, well, so that's awesome. So, so you were inspired by Jill because yeah. she was just such an amazing agent, which she is. Love her. Um, she's one of the best in the area. Uh, so that kind of prompted you to go down that path? or like, So did you jump into real estate like within the next 90 days? Yeah. Oh, really? So you just... Close on your house and you're like, okay, I'm signing up for real estate, yeah. going and go for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I did classes and, um, at the time I was still working at the gym. So I would start at the gym at five in the morning and then work it until noon. And then I would go do my night classes from like three to six or seven. Yeah. It was Monday through Thursday and I did those and it was like six weeks of that. And that wow, was, so you actually did in all six weeks. Yeah, the the schooling part, right? Yeah, and I yeah. finished that because I went into a class. So if I had to do it online, it would have taken me like six years, you know? But <laughs> we went to a class. We had our classmates. And I was actually in class with Autumn LaRue. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very cool. She's mm-hmm. amazing, she too. Does, yeah, Where she did does. you go to real estate school? Uh, with 
the brokerage I was with before. They offered a real estate school there. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's awesome. It's awesome. Yeah, Autumn's, yeah. Amazing. You, you know all the movers and shakers They're, in this I just business. love, I yeah. love females in business. No offense to the guys, you guys always are doing great, but it's really fun to see moms and sometimes we're toting our kids with us to appointments and that just makes me feel so good because we mm -hmm. can work and we can support our families and you know offer a lot to the table as well yeah so i like that yeah. well I, I it seems like this industry just has a lot of powerful females yeah. i mean it's amazing yeah. um and and i love those stories of of oh i was you know a soccer mom i did was doing this kind of thing and then all of a sudden got in real estate and now yeah. they're just like the mega agents like damn so that's right. awesome right. amazing yeah. it's inspiring yeah because busy people get stuff done and it feels good you know it feels yeah. good to yeah. take the family on vacation that i paid for you know yeah. like that i like that i like to contribute yeah. it's a very yeah. empowering business oh yeah yeah I, I mean you're a walking testament to that i know <laughs> do you know susan's story so I she do. she just walks into a was it an exit uh, seminar yeah. selling franchises and you sit down in the front row and then you're like I'm gonna buy one and she wasn't even a licensed real estate agent no I passed my exam two days uh, earlier oh yeah oh okay yeah. sorry yeah. sorry 48 hours deep into it yeah. that's good yeah. I had gone and interviewed Expert a bunch level. of yeah. <laughs> well I don't know if that was that was ignorance is bliss that's, that's great <laughs> like, yeah. oh, bigger the risk uh, the bigger the bigger reward the that's like yeah. somebody going to a marina and seeing a really big boat like oh I like boats I'm gonna buy one <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever uh, ridden on a boat? No, but I want to buy one. <laughs> no, Okay, yeah. cool. In those days, I believed I could do anything. Well, you, you can. <laughs> it was you a did. thing. I think that's that good. To, I, if, like, I mean, if you <laughs> truly think that, it yeah. pro you probably will be able to. Yeah, and that's all that happened. Mm -hmm. I was just dumb enough to believe I could do it. <laughs> I was like, people are like, you're so smart. No, uh -uh, I was pure stupidity to let me through everything. <laughs> yeah. So when you got passed your real estate exam and mm -hmm. test and got licensed did you hit the ground running or did you kind of like tiptoe into it did it take you a year to build up business or did you just already have a built-in sphere of influence like what was kind of your process of launching a career because a lot of new agents you know a lot of new agents fail within the first year or two yeah. Yeah. so you obviously done well so what advice do you have for the newer agents that are what was your blueprint for success so um failure was not an option for me mm -hmm. because i would rather do anything than admit that I failed in a career that everyone told me I was gonna fail in, right? Everyone said, oh, I tried that. Oh, I've done, oh, well, I wanna do, you mean real estate agents are out here? That I was like, oh, absolutely not. I would do anything to not, right? So I don't have that crazy, I did 25 deals my first year, I don't have that, but I think it took about three months to get my first paycheck. That's not bad. And yeah, that was good. That's and then great. I, and Nine then, days. you know, yeah. I had a, a couple, I think that year I closed like six, but to me, six deals when I was making, you know, what I make in one deal at the time, I thought we were the richest of, I mean, I thought I was just <laughs> something. Falling. Yes. But with that came, I spent it all, right? Yeah. And I learned a bit, that was a very big lesson that year of learning and you have to pay taxes. Yeah, especially you when you get will. the tax bill, yeah. You, you get your tax bill, right, in January after yeah. you've, you've spent all the money, right? Yeah. And so I learned a very big lesson my first year and uh, didn't make that mistake again. You hear that new agents? Save yeah. for the tax bill. Don't spend all your money. <laughs> yeah, get a good CPA, get yes. incorporated. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I actually yeah. just got incorporated. Congratulations. Congratulations. A little late to the party, but I got incorporated. That's good. I'm excited. I really don't know what I'm doing. I call um, my tax guy a lot and my payroll company a lot, and I'm learning, but it's yeah. exciting. I got my first paycheck from myself. Yeah, isn't it fun? You yeah. pay yourself. Yeah, it was fun. Like, ah, oh, look at me. I know. I'm an employer I of myself. It. I got money now. It feels yeah. good. I see. I'm like, you know, well, my you're card. running a business. Yeah. yeah. It says like Upchurch yeah. and Associates. I just think it makes me feel fancy. Yeah. That's like powering. It. That's beautiful. I like fancy. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so how did you kind of get those deals? Was it just from acquaintances or uh, fa friends and family or? Those first ones, they came from um, members at the gym. Mm -hmm. I built these lifelong, like, friendships with people at the gym because especially that early morning crew right they're they're hardcore right. we we've, we've known each other for a long time and a lot of my first deals came from members of the gym 
so now you know obviously it's gone into their my sphere now right and um i still am in contact with a lot of them and i still do get business from the gym that's cool right before the show we were out there chatting and yeah you're talking about how family is so important to you so it sounds like you're a very relational type person yeah right so and this is relationship business and so like i see so many people try to tackle it from the transactional side of things like oh it's it's a numbers game and all kinds yeah. of stuff it's like okay it is but at the same time it's about relationships yeah and so i think that's why you're having such great success because you're wired that way naturally i we joke i always joke with my husband and i tell him like after I get mostly with buyers, right? So I get them into their house and it's so exciting. Oh, happy day. And then I get this feeling of upset. Like I'm sad. Like they don't need me anymore. Yeah, right. Yeah. They're in their home. They're, they're having their housewarming party. I'm like, I feel sad, you know, cause you're, you're spending so much time with these people and you really build up this friendship. Texting so, every day. Yeah, so it's yeah. fun when we do continue that relationship and that I have clients who invite me to their kids, baby showers and all Aww. kinds of stuff. So I really like keeping that connection with people after I give them the keys That's awesome. or give them their check. So would you say that your main business is referrals and past clients and oh, sphere yeah. of influence? Oh yeah. Well, you're in the sweet spot of real estate then because that's, that's yeah. what people are aiming to achieve. Oh yeah. yeah. And it's great because I feel, you know, being a woman and going on appointments, it's nice to know where that appointment came from, right? We don't always want, we don't, yeah. sometimes it gets a little scary going to meet someone you haven't met before. So I love when it's a referral, which is probably 90% of my business is past client sphere referrals. That's huge. Yeah. yeah. It's what everybody wants to do. Yeah. Yep. Build that little pipeline of business. And right. And it kind of gives you that like a little confidence boost when you go into the appointment, you know, somebody who I respect highly referred me and that means that person obviously respects them as well so well, then you good. don't have three agents waiting outside for oh, the God. Yes. The I know I yeah. know I've had that one time where there was a line and it's just like I just want to turn around and leave this is so awkward one of the best um, objection handling I've ever heard was from Susan and so she was the first appointment and uh, and the seller goes well, I appreciate it. Everything sounds good, but you know, I got two other people to interview, and she's like, "Oh, don't worry, I'll give them a courtesy call and just let yes. them know that I, I chose that you just." And, and, and the way that she explains it is like, that, "This is yeah. why you are who you are, Susan." It was an accident. Yeah, <laughs> I just, just wasn't gonna make... leave without it. I'm like, "Oh no, that's my listing." Yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't. Yeah. Know. I... Oh, 2005. Yeah. <laughs> good times. Oh. So, would you say you've had a pretty? Um, successful career so far like how long have you been doing it so this is my eighth year okay and i just hit four years with signature like two days ago i know oh, so you're one of the ogs <laughs> yeah, yeah right when we opened this office cool. i was i was in line yeah. ready to come i was very excited um and that first year here was was hard it was hard to go from a brokerage that does everything that that and, and this I thought was a good thing right now that I get to do it myself it's nice but it was a big change to come yeah. over here so that first year was was tough you know rebranding everything getting right. all the stuff made and now it's like things I've increased my business like a lot each year yeah. and it's been yeah. really nice but that first year it's she hard. hard for the I money. feel like it was kind of like my first year in real estate all over again, right? Yeah. I I had to get create your everything systems. new and yeah. create yeah, create systems that were all done for me. It was yeah. great, but I didn't know how to input a listing, and you know I always had somebody to do that for me. So yeah. it was a big year of learning. That Weren't you with Rocky? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me yeah. and Rocky came together. Yeah. Very cool. And she's yeah. a former uh, guest, so yeah. yes. Yeah, you guys are in the. the whole I love thing. Rocky. We are yeah. like soul sisters. We she's always always when we have things going on we can reach out to each other and I, she's awesome I love her. but I always say this and I say it almost every single time I get starstruck when people come mm -hmm. because when they came I was like are they really gonna come <laughs> like aren't they gonna find out who I am <laughs> I'm a stay-at-home homeschool preschool teacher I'm sure I'm going to get exposed so when you guys came it was awesome for me Oh yeah, I I was I felt the same way you felt. A female broker, I'm like, where do I sign? Take it all. I thought that was I don't know another female broker. Maybe I just haven't heard of another one, but all I knew is, you know, males in this industry. So yeah. I was super excited. But I liked your broker. I love your manager. I still, your previous yes, one, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. I loved him. That's awesome. I got to do some fun stuff with him. He's amazing. Easy to problem solve. Mm -hmm. He's not a lot of people is in the industry. So, 
He is so smart, one of the smartest people I've met, and I yeah. still highly, highly respect him. Yeah, cool. me too. That's cool. And that's what's fun about starting a new chapter is that you get all these new characters and yeah. and uh, people in the office. So what's your experience been like here at Signature Real Estate Group as far as just the agent dynamic and you know the location of this office? Like, What, what are your uh, favorite things about the office here? We all talk about it, right? The collaboration culture. So I this might not be the popular opinion, but I didn't lean into that. I always have kind of been on my own and like doing my own things. And mm -hmm. it's not that I wasn't a team player. I think it just, it's funny. People in this business are shy, right? We're so outgoing with our clients, but to, for me to actually go up and talk to Heather Pinko or Renee <laughs> or Christina, it's like, I would just like die inside because I'm like, what do I say to them? How do I ask them for help? So it may come off that I'm like, not a team player, but I think it really is more so I'm painfully shy, which sounds funny because, you know, in, in work situations, we're, we're on, 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 right? right but right. outside of that, I, I could really be cool laying on the couch, like with my husband and kids <laughs> and not going to well, social that's, things, That's right? because of how hot your hubby is. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people I, like to lay on the couch with I, that husband, I'm just saying. I mean, you know. But nicely. <laughs> I, I I agree. 100%. <laughs> you have the prettiest family. You're so cool. I mean, just look at your bracelet. Oh, oh my God, that's this, cool. This is my client, Kristen. Her daughter, Taylor, shout out to Gold Coast Customs. She makes these. And she is 16 years old, saving up for a car. So Good Aww. for her. Yeah, they're so that's cute. Awesome. I love them. I wear them all the time. Yeah, but you guys are like a cool family. Thanks. Like you do cool stuff. We do. We um, we have a lot going on at our house all the time. We we bought um, an acre a year and a half ago, and uh, went fully in. We have chickens and goats and a garden. Get your own little farm. Yeah. 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 And uh, I kicked and screamed the whole way moving in, but I'm genuinely my husband was like oh whatever, but I am actually very happy there. My husband just remodeled the entire kitchen for me, and it looks like a dream. Really? Yes. Is that his line of work? Does, no. Is he good no, at he works full time, and then he comes home and remodels some, some our house. just can do yeah. that. He uh -huh. is, he's, While he's good looking. He's like the best <laughs> at this stuff. He he comes home, and I get home from, you know, four hours of showings, and I want to die, right? right? And he comes home from working eight hours, like manual hard labor, and starts ripping out the kitchen. I'm like, how do you do this? How do you just keep going? He's He has much more energy than I do. He's so how did you meet him? We met at um, a mutual friend's birthday party. I was friends with the girl, and he was friends with the guy. And they were a couple, and that's how we met. So who approached you? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> I, I pointed him out and said I was going to marry him. Oh, wow. You, you claimed oh, yeah. it, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he was so far out of my league, and I did not care. Oh, I was like, he is league. mine. I told everyone. It's like the joke that... Uh, yeah, I, I definitely, um, I wanted that into existence. <laughs> How old were you? I like that you're not shy about it. It's beautiful. It's, yeah. Everybody knows. Yeah. Our story is funny. It's a little inappropriate to share, but it is a funny story. Um, but I was, God, 19? Yeah, because, no, maybe I'm older than that. No, we, 20. I think I was 20. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And your eyes met, and you went, wow. That was it. <laughs> so did you approach him? Like, did you have like a pickup line? Like, um, hey. I think I did something so stupid to like, hey, you know, like just, oh, I've, I'm embarrassed for myself right now. But um, he uh, totally blew me off. Ooh. Roasty, I know. I know. He'll, <laughs> he'll totally be like, that's not how it happened, right? But yeah, he did. So how does he tell the story? Um, Yeah. Probably the same without saying, I don't know. Yeah, he, uh, he was playing hard to get. He was dating someone at the time. Oh. And I didn't know, you know. But then I, it's funny, I ended up going over to his house. This was like months after that initial meeting. Mm -hmm. I was with uh, hanging out with some friends and ended up at his house. And that was, I was like, okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Locking them inside of his own house. I'm like, bring my leaving. bag in, yeah. put it down. Leave it, leave in your. <laughs> toothbrush, My toothbrush there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so that was it. Yeah. And that, that really, that after that second time of meeting, um, that was it. 
We were together, whether he wanted to be or not. So he was active under contract, and you submitted yes. a backup yes. offer. I yes. submitted the backup. And then, and then you closed the deal. And, and I got closed it. Escrow. I was okay. willing to pay above appraisal. I mean, I <laughs> did. Removed all contingencies. I removed all contingencies. Yeah. 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 Five day close. Got yeah. it. Sorry. That's the inappropriate Sorry, mom and dad. Story. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, and so do you have, you do have kids. Oh, yeah. Yes, we have two kids. Awesome. We have um, a 10 year old. You can do the math on that one. And a two year old. Very cool. Yeah. So, um, just a little gap. Oh, okay. Same dad, right? Yeah. <laughs> Everyone always asks. Yeah. But yeah, so we um, we had Gavin, is my 10 year old, and we were done, right? We're happy little tripod. We loved having that. And then um, Gavin actually really wanted a sibling. And um, we finally said, okay, it's now or never, right? And so we had Gwen. And Gwen is adorable. Gwen's giving me a run for my money right now. I'm it, so glad. Oh, Lord. <laughs> my parents were over today, and Gwen was just, she wanted to go in the bath, and then she went out of the bath because it was wet in the bath. <laughs> and I was I was just, like, so fresh. I'm like, take her. And my dad's like, you know, I know someone else who used to do stuff like that. And I was like, no. <laughs> no, not me. Not Did me. you get the motherly curse where you're going to have children just like yourself? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I was a good kid, though. We always do, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We justify in our minds. I tell, yeah. I tell myself I was good. Mm -hmm. Gavin my, is my sweetheart. He's he's very very good and calm. He wasn't the rambunctious, jump off the counters that Gwen is. Gwen is going to be the first one with stitches for sure. Not yeah. Gavin. Gavin's very safe. sweet natured. Yes, safe. Mm. And Gwen is not. She's wild child. That's awesome. But right, you have one of each, right? Isn't yep. that how it works? Yep. Do you want more? Um, uh, today, absolutely not. <laughs> ask ask, ask, ask me on a good day. Ask yeah. me when Gwen's like five and not two. <laughs> we're struggling. So did you have siblings growing up? Yeah. Okay. I so, have two sisters. Also all, all girls. Yeah. Wow. My poor dad. <laughs> yeah. So is he just a house full of ladies then? Yeah. So um, he's excited with having Gavin and he has grandson, grandkids that are boys. I have my nephews as well. Yeah. So. Um, but yeah, he had all girls. W were you born and raised in this area? Uh -huh. Southern California? Yeah, uh, Riverside, and then we moved to Tuscany Hills right okay. after. So uh, yeah, very local. Yeah, and then now my parents live in Canyon Lake, so we're super close because we're right in Menifee. Very cool, and do you see your family often? Yes. Very cool. They come, My dad and mom come over every Wednesday, mm -hmm. and my dad works in the yard. Oh. I, and my mom comes in and helps me fold laundry. Wait, that sounds like a sweet deal. That's, uh, that's pretty awesome. I scored, right? Yeah. That's the best. And then we all have lunch together. It's been my most favorite thing since my dad sort of retired um, a couple months ago. He comes over every weekend, so does my mom, and we all get to hang out and have lunch and get some chores done. And then um, on Sundays, everyone knows this, right? I go to Costco with my parents on Sundays and my sister and all of our kids. There's like 10 of us wandering Costco. <laughs> and then we go hang out at their house all day and make dinner and turn on music. And yeah. That's, so you're very close as a family. That's my, my favorite thing to do. Yeah, I look forward to Sundays. It, and right now, right, we're in a market where I'm having to show property so much that it, I tell my clients right out the, out the gate, I will show you property whenever you want. But please, can I have my Sundays? But there's times when I have to go, you know, like if yeah. sometimes yeah. we don't have a, another day, you have to go the same day. So, sure. but yeah, I do love, um, Spending time with my parents. So it's interesting. So you've built your whole business based off of relationships. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you have such a close relationship with your, your own family. Yeah. And so I think that's a direct correlation to your success. I think that's very important. It seems like relationships are high on your value list. Yeah. 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 That's beautiful. Thanks. Yeah. Don't you want to go to her house now on Sunday? I, oh, well, Sunday. Especially if her dad's going to like do <laughs> the artwork. Sundays are great. fun. <laughs> Sundays are so fun. Oh, we love it. Oh. Yeah. Well, I think it's time for Susan's speed round of questions. I just make them up. Okay. <laughs> just just don't ask me anything I'm not going to know, okay? <laughs> I'm not that smart. <laughs> oh, she starts with, like, what? what's your favorite color? Yeah, yeah but then it gets, de it gets no, deep it, really it, fast. No. I've watched these before, okay? <laughs> yeah. She, she goes first What is six. your favorite color? Um, I, I always say, like, color to wear, I wear mostly black. But like I feel like a color to color would be like a teal blue. Ooh, I guess. Tiffany blue. Right. With a bow. Yeah. After I like open that. that box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's your favorite food? 
probably Mexican food. What thing in Mexican food? Cheese enchiladas. Ooh, yeah. Right? With sour cream? All Do you like it. the green sauce or the red sauce? Mm, that's a toss up. I, I like it all. <laughs> Every time we get back from vacation, me and Justin are like castanetas. We're like, yeah. And we get cheese enchiladas. <laughs> I love that when you have a favorite restaurant. So is that your favorite restaurant? Uh, like for takeout, yeah. Okay. We're so, so sick of takeout right now, though, because I haven't had a kitchen in a month. I want to get, get the thought of that, to be honest. Yeah. Are you a good cook? I think he? so. Yeah. I love to cook. Do you do, you the, do? Yeah. Of the cooking? I cook everything. <gasps> mm -hmm. Do you oh, like really? to bake too? I'm not a baker, but we um, we love to cook. We throw stuff on the smoker on the weekends and while we're hanging out, pulling weeds all weekend. And uh, yeah, we I cook every meal every day, except for Which the last month. Cook? DoorDash was our cook. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I just got a, a Le Creuset um, big like stop pot dutch oven so i've been cooking all kinds of stuff in that lately mm. what just, is your favorite thing to cook probably smoked uh, chicken thighs on the smoker Oof. that's our favorite right now we've been doing that a lot does it take a long time do you just put it in there all day yeah, like i don't know four or five hours but that's what's nice you just throw it in and you come back later Ooh. yeah i like that I'm I like hungry right now, so like, that sounds really <laughs> extra good. So smoked chicken yeah. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, we do good. that a lot. Aww. And then I look like a pro, right? When they come off the smoker, it looks like I tried so hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been doing this for years. I spent hours on this. Yeah. Okay, what stuff do you have in your garden? Oh, right now um, we have a ton of artichoke plants. <gasps> and I started this all from seeds, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, a whole row of watermelon. I have lettuce, onions, uh, sunflowers, kale, beets. Corn. <gasps> Very excited to have, like, I just want tons of corn. Um, strawberries, all kinds of stuff. Tomatoes. I love that. Mm -hmm. Is it huge? Yeah, it's pretty big. And do you have to go fix it every day? Make yeah, sure rabbits there. don't get it? Mm -hmm. What do you do? How do I you protect it? I go out there it? every day. Justin built some cages around, like, my raised beds because they were just getting attacked by animals. And um, so that's really helped out a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> Did you ever know that was what you're going to grow up to be? Oh, gosh, no. No. <laughs> to be excited, like, I came screaming because we bought these plum trees during COVID, and they had their first plums. I came, Justin, there's a plum! A plum! And I'm like... <laughs> How did I get to this point, right? I'm a farmer, you know? It's you such know a you're good in that, point. <laughs> you're at that, like, adulting stage when you get excited when a new vacuum comes out. Oh, or totally, a, yes. Air I, fryer uh -huh. is a big thing. My wife gets all excited about that, so she'll yeah. probably get that for Mother's Day. Oh, <laughs> don't you dare. No, that's what she wants. Well, you better get her something else, too. Oh, okay. See, I'm a guy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, she likes the vacuum. It's okay. Mm, it's yeah. okay, Jen. <laughs> well, we have a great day, and so there's a lot of fur. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, favorite sport? I guess hockey. We don't watch sports, but I guess if we were going to watch a sport, it'd be hockey. Favorite that's team? Because Justin likes the Kings. I, I'm the, I don't. So have you ever gone to a hockey game? No. Well, actually, I went to a Ducks game with my mom and dad. <laughs> <laughs> I like your If mom you can imagine that. <laughs> um, yeah, when I was little, we went to a Ducks game. And where did you sit? Because I sat I behind, remember. and it was where I learned what happens when the the blood bounces off the ice and oh. then gets on the plexiglass right in front of you. And I was like, I'm never doing this <laughs> again. <laughs> it was horrifying. Yeah, we, I was it was young. a brutal sport. I would like, like to go to one now. I oh, go to any sporting yeah. event. Uh, just get there. where there's get behind <laughs> where the goal is. There's tooth. a lot of things happening back there. Tooth goes <laughs> flying in there. Oh and yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun. It was an experience. It just you know left an imprint in my mind <laughs> forever. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, so something I want to fun do in my life is I would like to fly a plane. Do you have any of those? Um. I got, this is so funny, but I, I really like, um, have you ever heard of like the CDT, like through hiking, like Appalachian Trail through hiking, where they go hike for like three to six months and do this trail that's 2,000 miles and they backpack the whole way? I think that would be so cool. Obviously, not anytime soon because I have young children, but um, we did a backpacking trip to Havasupai a couple years ago. And that was so fun to me to live out of your backpack, right? You would set up your tent, you brought your little backpacking meals. I just thought that was so fun. So I think it'd be cool to do a really long-term uh, backpacking trip. 
Oh my gosh! I would never want to do that. Oh, I really so admire you. <laughs> it was. It, it, I didn't think. You know, you either. I was like, were we really gonna spend this much money to go like be homeless, right? Yeah. But it was a. It was a really cool experience. It was yeah. fun. Well, I know. Fun now that I look back, it was not fun hiking. You know, fifteen <laughs> miles in a day with thirty pounds on your back. But wow. when you look back at it, those were. Yeah. And to go down there and see the tribe, and it was just, it was wild. Mm. It was really cool. What's the best vacation you've ever been on? Oh, our honeymoon. Oh, where'd you go? Wait, how did he ask you to marry you? Or did you ask him? (laughs) (laughs) Tell us the truth. (laughs) Close. Um, He actually, where we took our photos with, when I was pregnant with Gavin, um, after I had Gavin, we went back to that spot, and he proposed there, where we took our photos. Did you know he was going to do it? No, I didn't, because I just... I just didn't think he was ready yet. But I thought you were going to say, yeah, I bought him the ring and I told him what to say. <laughs> You're no, going to propose to I me. I did. I did let him do it all on his own. I didn't force it. I just highly encouraged it. <laughs> this is why you're a pregnancy. great negotiator in real estate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we are only active under contract. Uh-huh. <laughs> so we, when we got married, we went to um, Big Sur for a week, and that was amazing. Yeah. I love, love, love it up there. Did you have a big wedding or a small wedding? We had a really big wedding. You did? Yeah. I want to see pictures. Um, I'll show you. <laughs> I, I wore, uh, I, I thought you've seen them. I wore a black and purple dress. We got married at the, a country club in Oceanside and it was awesome. We had a really good time. It was fun. I was so glad you just wore a fun dress. Yeah, it was really Maybe it was, you did show me because I wore a black dress too once. <laughs> 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 I tried it twice. <laughs> First time wore white one, second one a black one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dress color didn't matter for me. <laughs> Get the camera man laughing over here. <laughs> oh, okay, so I have business questions. Okay. Do you like working with buyers or sellers or both? Which one's your fave? Well, I love working with both, of course. I'll take anything. But um, sellers are, to me, just, I am, I that's like where my brain always goes first and then the sellers usually turn into the buyers right so yeah i always when i'm prospecting business and making my phone calls i'm looking for sellers so if you have one thing to say to a seller in this market what would you say and look at that camera and tell them call me <laughs> yesterday i probably have 18 people who want to buy your house <laughs> me personally phone number nine five one six nine one three zero five zero one more time <laughs> Nine five one six nine one three zero five zero. Oh, because dollars are going up. Oh my while gosh! You're in is it what a time to be alive? It it's is wild, right? Wild I know there. it is. It's okay, so where do you see yourself in five years, professionally and personally? Ooh, okay. So professionally, um, I would like to. In five years, I will have an assistant working for me full time. Things are even now are very busy for me and it's just a lot to manage it all so assistant obviously i have my tc megan who is my literal lifesaver i would die without her i love her so much um and maybe pull on a buyer's agent i'm not i'm not in any position to want to start this big huge empire team i just that's not where my brain is right at least in the next five years so Um, I would like to have maybe a buyer's agent on there to help me out on those weekend showings. Yeah. Specifically on Sundays? Yeah. 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 I just need a Sunday on, only agent. Yeah. I need a Sunday yeah. agent. Thank you, please. Well, and a lot of teams right now are doing, I mean, they're definitely downsizing, but they're just using showing agents instead of Absolutely. bringing on that overhead of a yeah. buyer's agent Pam, and that pressure. Yeah, per door or however yeah. your, your yeah. situation is. But yeah, yeah, so that's where I see myself. A little bit better on my systems and kind of letting myself do what I do best and that's going out and meeting clients and then where I struggle so badly is just that paperwork back office stuff is just not for me yeah you know Megan is so brilliant and she just gets it right I'm over here like what sky slope where how do I log in you know all those things that they're just yeah I, I prefer to hire that out we have one more thing we need to hire out we need to decorate your office. Okay, I tried. I got a, oh my gosh. We I, need stuff on the wall. I'm known to just, I'm just very, like, I'm the person who sees a black shirt and I, it fits. I buy 10 of them. I just, I just need what I need, right? My husband tells me, he's like, are you going to, like, decorate the, the living room at all? And I was like, what do you, what do you want? <laughs> 
it's so free. I know to I need that. to like get I need I need Scott Gormley. Did you see his office when he was had his office? Oh, it's like a dream all the time. Yeah, players. yeah, he was the he was the I should, coveted uh, office. I yeah, he was. Beg him to get style. Help me. Yes, yeah. totally. Yeah, yeah cool his dude. house is like that too. Yeah, yeah. It's just beautiful. So yeah. you know, maybe I'll get some plants. I put get a, some mixed tiles. Like yes, yes, yeah, I did. Awesome. I did put a diffuser, an oil diffuser, like a stress away <laughs> diffuser in my office. So right that's now. good. You know? who, do you, who do you share your office with? Michael. <laughs> Michael uh, is also my nephew, and he came over here just a couple months ago, and is in quite the escrow right now. Michael, learning right? a lot, huh? Michael Stafford. Okay. Yeah. And um, he, he is learning a lot right now. Super nice kid. Yeah. He's, he's oh, yeah. doing really good. He's yeah. doing really good. But he's in one of those transactions? Oh, everything. He's in the kidding. Murphy's Law right now. And, then, oh, oh, and he's man. like, Sandy, what, what just happened? What just, and I'm like, oh, man. Today was, today was a good one. I was like, ooh, sorry about that. As <laughs> sucky as it is to go through those transactions, that's where you the learn. The next one's going to mm -hmm. be so cake, right? Yes. Well, that's yep. where you learn all the ins and outs of the contract. You're like, oh, yep. okay. Yeah. That's what the yep. notice of buyer perform timeline's oh all about. Oh, my gosh. And, and kind of thank stuff. God it's in-house. So um, yeah. she's being very gracious with the good. pickups we keep happening upon. <laughs> Okay, personally, five years from now. Um, five years, I hope that my house is um, completely remodeled and done, but I'm sure there will always be other things. But I would love to have expanded the garden mega at our house. Um, and, you know, it takes five years for a fruit tree to really get going, right? So I feel like all this work that we've done over the last year and a half outside is going to be amazing. So that would be for the house. Um, I'm loving, we're in a, a spot right now where we're taking more vacations with the kids, and I would love to do longer trips when Gwen is able to sit still for longer than an hour and <laughs> do some more like flying trips, you know, take them on longer vacations further away, because we love going on our little weekender trips with the kids. Are you an off the grid kind of girl? I feel like I'm, I've am i always been kind of a like a little closet prepper. You know, we, we <laughs> like to keep things, um, for backup and it's so funny when you know covid happened and the stores were like going nuts i was like oh i've been prepping for this for years <laughs> i was like bring yeah. it on i'm like so, so you had all the toilet paper oh i've oh i've had it for years oh i went we all my crazy talk i was like i told you so <laughs> matter of time what's the biggest thing you've done to get through rona what would you say Ooh, this might be unpopular opinion. I've never spoke about this, but um, we decided to spend more time outside getting vitamin D, and that is what we've done to protect ourselves. And that's oh all we have done to protect ourselves. Yeah. And I'll leave it at that yeah. because I know everybody, and, you know, everybody has their own ways of doing things. My parents have their own way that's different than mine, and that's okay. Yeah. Um, but just as a family, that was what we decided to do. That was a good decision. Yeah, we had so much fun. My husband only got furloughed uh, for a, maybe a week, but he ironically was on maternity leave for Gwen because he wanted to wait till she was a little bit older because she was just so attached to me when she was baby that he happened to have four weeks off. So we had him home for like five weeks and that was right when COVID happened. Oh gosh, we had the best time. We had the pool. We kept calling it furlough Fridays and we'd all just lay in the pool on the floaties and we were just... We really, we did, we took it, you know, as seriously as we could. And what a time to buy an acre of property because we had plenty to do. That was great. <laughs> it was a blast. So That's now we always laugh about furlough Fridays. <laughs> there were cocktails involved in furlough Fridays. <laughs> what is your favorite cocktail? Oh, um, like going out, it would be a dirty martini. Mm. But like if we're at home, I like those white claws. You do? That's my wife's drink, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. like those. I can't grasp it. Oh, I like them. It's so light. It's light, like, but it'll kick you in the... It will. Yeah, yeah it'll yeah, get I, you. It catches up. <laughs> <laughs> I love sparkling water, though, like LaCroix, Bubbly, whatever mm -hmm. brand I can get my hands on. I like that. Yeah. That's my thing, so. I need more than that. Yeah. I just need more. I know. A lot of people... <laughs> I feel like I drink it, and then I just need more. Like, do I? Well, that's the art uh, of crafting satisfying? a drink. So, yeah. Yeah. They're in the business of selling drinks, Susan. 
Yeah, I think they mastered it. Uh, a white claw with a fifth of tequila would be good. <laughs> Okay, you're on to something. That would not be good for me. <laughs> I love your life. Oh, thank you. I live a little vicariously through you and your Gwen little videos. Oh, that girl. She's like yeah. an yeah. angel. She she really is. And she these is. are the fun, you know these are the funnest years because you have the ten year old. We're gonna look back and yes. just say, Oh my gosh, remember how crazy busy yes. our lives were with these kids? Yes. And all kinds of Yeah, you stuff. have to enjoy the energy. Yes. Because how old are you? I'm thirty one. Gosh, that's when I had my first baby. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm happy a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Second 139. Yeah, it, yeah, it's different this time around. But I think that, like, when I look at you and I think of what I was doing at 31 versus what you're doing at 31, I admire everything that you have done and what you believe in and how you live and you're a little granola, beautiful human being. <laughs> but you are. Thank and that you. thing of family is the most important and I think that's why you're so good at this is because that comes natural because it's just inside mm -hmm. of you and you just let it out so it is I feel like it it's when you just everyone says just be who you are right yeah, and it, yeah. someone if someone doesn't like that then they're not the right client for me but most people like it yeah <laughs> so yeah so it works yeah. you know because you know these days we call it sane <laughs> yeah, right, right, I right. Mm -hmm. oh, your up is up and your down is down. Up I is guess. not down at your house. Oh, yeah, I'm proud of you. Well, thank and you. I'm really glad you're in the office now because I know, I love being back. Yeah, yeah, because sometimes when people disappear for a little while, I'm like, oh. Are they coming back? Well, I, yes. didn't, I didn't technically go anywhere. It was just too yeah. difficult to bring a baby to work. And so of course. now I have um, Missy Vaughn watching my kids twice a week who watched Gavin at the gym and used to watch me at the gym. Oh, wow. Crazy. So she has been coming to my house. She's a lifesaver. I trust her immensely, and I'm really happy to be able to come back to work. So let me say thank you for one thing. Thanks for entrusting us with your career because it's important. Well, thank you. And it's what I live for. Right. Is to make sure that this relationship is solid and that it's fruitful and beneficial to you. You know, so thanks for trusting us. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're really one of a kind. Thank you. You are. I love you dearly, Sandy. I church. love you. I'm very happy to be here. I, especially just this last couple of, well, yeah, couple of months since I've been in the office. It's, yeah. It naturally, everyone says, just show up, just come in. And you're like, what does that mean? But it's true. You come in and you're you're on right so you get that phone call hey can i see this house right now sure i'm dressed and ready to go if i'm yeah. at home and i'm in you know <laughs> yeah. freaking sweatpants yeah, yeah. yeah like dirt under my nail like i'm not no i'm not ready to show you this right now so just having even those two days to be filling with appointment time slots is great and i it really does make a difference to just be here and and lean in even if you're painfully shy like myself just you know uh Hey, how are you? It, it goes a long way. So one piece of advice to a brand new agent. Oh, I think um, the things that you think are so devastating in the beginning, you're going to look back and just be like, wow, that was no nothing. Right. And I and I reference Michael because every little thing right now has been a big hurdle for him. But like you say, there's no fires in real estate. Right. It's it's totally fine and then when i tell him it's it'll be fine no big deal we can work through this he probably is like oh you are full of it lady you know because <laughs> to him it's a really big deal and there was a lot of times in the beginning where i was just like i would tell justin i just don't know if this is for me this is these are people's lives right and and yeah. if you were to fall out of escrow and it's just devastating for somebody and no matter how whose fault it is or how it happens it's it's devastating but as you move along in your career, those types of things, will, you'll look back and they'll just be, you know, it was a good learning experience and it really wasn't worth crying or staying up all night over, right? <laughs> oh, oh, all so those nights that. where you just are the end of the world, right? And yeah. it just isn't. So yeah. I think I've gotten a lot more calm in things over the last couple of years because really, what can you do? You're only 30. What are you gonna do, you know? She's wise happen. beyond her years. I know, right? Yeah. 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 She's an old soul, but I don't know what that means, though. Everyone, I hear that. You're very um, mature, articulate, and professional, and you're such a young woman. Thanks. 
30 is just young. 31 is young. My, my husband calls me grandma because I, I'm like in bed at 7.30. <laughs> Read a little book. Night, night. You, you get the glasses at the end of the nose. Yeah. Yeah. And, then I'm, and then I'm texting people back at 4 in the morning. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Ready to rock and roll, right? That's my life. I am a, such a morning person. 7 o'clock, sayonara. Well, with that said, final thoughts, Susan? I know you kind of already just kind of laid it out already, but <laughs> I, any final, final I, thoughts? I have final, final thoughts. Okay. As you grow in your career, I hope that you always look to us and lean on us and don't ever be shy about it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because I believe in you. Thank you. And now that you're here again, I really look forward to seeing what it is you're going to do. Because it's going to be excited. something awesome. I'm yeah. very excited. I'm yeah. excited to see. So just keep going. Thank you. It's awesome. And Sandy, I've seen you in the office, but this is our first time to really kind of go uh, beneath the iceberg, as we say. And yeah. you are a lot of fun, and you are an old soul, and you are a person that values relationships. And I think you have nothing but uh, amazing success on the horizon. And I can see you being like a mentor. Yes. Yeah. Yes. She's going to be a mentor. She is. She's doing it with Michael right now. Yeah. I, I could be a mentor on the like, got this let's pump you up but walking them through sky slope i am yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Count, i'm that's not for me how do i turn on my computer yes oh, yes no. I, that, yeah. oh, how do you use docusign don't i don't worry. know gavin will get it in a couple gavin, years yeah gavin yeah. will be my helper hopefully they'll do all the tech stuff they've been <laughs> on the devices since they were born right yep yep well, thank you so much for being on the show under the spotlight here at Signature Studio with Susan Ebert, John Butler, the ball guy in the red tie, saying see you in escrow. Bye. 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 <laughs>